First on Fox tonight, five rare guitars are stolen, but the owner says the thieves took much more than just the instruments. That's right. Musician Frank Reynolds says each of his guitars had been painstakingly restored or customized. Fox 17's Erica Lathan here in studio now with more on the story. You hate to hear that. Yeah, it, it really is, especially in Music City. You hate to hear that. And uh, this gentleman says police estimate the stolen guitars at around $15,000, but the owner says he actually spent years building his collection, and each guitar was like a part of him. There were about six to seven shoe prints right here where they kicked in the door, and it literally split the door this way. On Monday, Frank Reynolds found his front door open and his entire house in shambles. This is the, the studio. My, all my instruments were either over there. And this is where thieves hit the jackpot, stealing music equipment and several rare bass guitars. It's hurtful to me just because I, I put so much of my own uh, work into it. Um, it's less about the money. You know, it's more about what the instruments meant to me. Each guitar has a unique story. That's the 1966 Mustang bass that I sanded back down to the original finish. That's the the Daphne Blue Precision bass, 1968, very rare. Frank has a love for Fender guitars. He says the Blue Precision bass is valued at $6,000 and the White Fender at around $7,000. I'm not a, a very materialistic person, um, but they, they meant a lot to me just because of the work I put into them. Frank can't replace his guitars, but he has replaced the front door with reinforced locks, and he has a message for whoever broke into his home. I feel sorry for the person. Um, they have no idea what they took from me, that they took uh, the things that mean the most to me as a person, and that they are a part of me. Like, like I said, they're an extension of myself. When, when I play. Well, Frank did file a report with the police department and he says everyone in the music community is really helping him to look for those guitars after his post spread on Facebook. Erica Lathan, Fox 17 News.